car in the world made right here in Manchester. Mark Tattersall reports. Mike Newman's used to travelling at speed. Incredibly high speeds. Now he's trying to go over 200 miles an hour, all without the use of his sight. I'm a sports car fan, motorsports for me, by a keen interest. And to be driving speeds that F1 cars go at is a fantastic uh, privilege and very exciting for me. Granada Reports has followed the 43-year-old as he's set three previous blind land speed world records. <laughs> The last decade is littered with his incredible achievements in cars from Jaguars to BMWs. But this is the machinery that'll take Mike through that magic 200 miles an hour barrier, the Keating TKR Twin Turbo. Its 7.6 litre engine generates 1,800 horsepower, taking him to his target speed in under 30 seconds. Although completely blind, Mike refuses to live a life of boundaries. Every challenge he faces, he takes on, and he doesn't like to lose. For a sighted person to do a speed record is very, very difficult. But somebody who hasn't got vision at all, he's, it's near, near on impossible. However, Mike's a pretty gifted chap. He already holds four Guinness World Records, so he'll take it all in his stride, I'm sure. So just how dangerous is this world record attempt potentially going to be? We do a lot of planning, preparation is key. We, have, we always use the right tools for the job. It's not as if I've got cars coming underway to worry about. Mike heads out to America in October to begin training for the final attempt. If you think the man in the driving seat's barking mad, Mike's far from exhausted his ideas for the future. Mark Tattersall, Granada Reports, Manchester. Yeah, there's no stopping him. The very best of luck to you, Mike. Mm. And still to come tonight. Yeah, the hottest tickets in town. Wolves fans queue around the block for their big day out at Wembley. And I'll be sending a postcard from the very top of the great Laxey Wheel in the Isle of Man. And I'll tell you what, it's high. It's 80 feet tall. Tall tales from Cal a bit later and great blue skies there. But whatever the weather, there's nothing like a trip to the seaside. They've had the same thought for many, many years. And this week, Blackpool is reviving the good old Lancastrian holiday tradition of Wakes Weeks. Yeah, if you've got a good idea, hang on to it. It was a time when each of the industrial towns would, in turns, take their summer break and head off to the coast for their annual holiday. So tourism chiefs in Blackpool...